Welcome to this video. It's often asked which web browser is the best and to be honest it's not a simple answer. A lot of it depends on you the user, what's your use case, what are your needs, as well as personal tastes. And so I'm going to go over just some general recommendations. I am here on privacytest.org which lists the most common web browsers you're going to find. And then down below it just shows a bunch of privacy tests, check mark meaning it passed, x means it did not. And it's not as simple simple as just coming here and finding, okay, which one has the most green check marks, partly because this is done by default settings, which means some of these could be changed to green check marks just by going in and changing settings. But again, it goes back to what's your use case, what's your needs. For example, let's start with Google Chrome. In most situations, I do not recommend Chrome to most users because it's just terrible for privacy. Their entire business model is not built around privacy. But one potential situation or case where you might want to consider Chrome is, for example, if you're looking for top-notch or best security, Chrome does have a proven track record of being one of the best browsers when it comes to fighting cybersecurity threats or malware or other forms of security concerns. And so if you had, for example, a small business or something else similar to that situation where you just needed the best security, Chrome might be one that you want to consider. Though I could make the argument that picking one of these other browsers plus education would probably give you better results than just relying on a browser to do everything for you when it comes to security. And to go back to my earlier comment, in most situations, I would not recommend anyone use Google Chrome. Now let's talk about the default browsers that are installed for Windows. It's Microsoft Edge and for Mac OS, it's Safari. And you can scroll again down here and see that there are some areas where they do well and there's definitely some areas where they do not. And they get more X's. I will say in general, both are a bit of a step up from Google Chrome, especially Safari. I do think they have made some strides to improve the privacy aspect of Safari. But as far as a daily driver, I honestly would not recommend either one. For most people looking for the best daily browser they can use for just general use across the board, I would recommend either Brave or Firefox. Now again, if you go down this list, you're going to find sections where, for example, Brave has all green check marks and Firefox does not. That does not automatically mean that Firefox is worse or Brave is better. Again, keep in mind default settings. But I would say if you like Firefox and you're looking for something that's privacy oriented, more hardened out of the box, you may actually want to consider LibreWolf or Molvad. I'm actually in LibreWolf right now and I have Molvad down here. And you can see a couple things right off the bat. Both come with the uBlock Origin extension installed by default. Molvad also has the Molvad browser extension extension as well as a new identity option. If you're a user coming from Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge, you actually might prefer Brave and Brave is actually the browser that I like to use on a daily basis as my daily driver. I just love the privacy shield that it has up here, these quick access settings and options, as well as they do have an option up here in the menu to access the Tor network, which is definitely not a substitute for the Tor browser, but it's pretty cool that they do have that built right in. Also by default, it does not have Google as the search engine like Firefox does. It actually has a Brave search engine which can be changed and obviously you can change it in Firefox as well. But again, my recommendation for a daily driver would be either Brave, especially if you're coming from Chrome or Microsoft Edge, or Firefox. If you're looking for a version of Firefox that is hardened out of the box, LibreWolf or Movad would be a good option to look at. There's really no world in which I would recommend Opera. And if you're just looking for top privacy, hands down, Tor is where you need to be. But if you need that level of security and privacy, you're not going to want to use this on, for example, a Windows machine. You're going to want to look at something like Tells, which is a Linux distro. And Tor is not really something that you would use as a daily driver. That's just something you use when you need top-notch privacy and security. I will post a link down in the video description to that website that I was showing so you can compare for yourself. But those are my recommendations. If you do have any comments or questions, please post them down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider sharing it. And if you would like to support the channel, go ahead and hit that join button, the thanks button, the subscribe button, and that bell notification icon to get notifications on future videos. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day.